Cavs versus the Boston Celtics trade explained and broken down. So let's start off with the obvious. Both of the teams trade away their best players, but the Celtics kept their young guys. That was a good move. Because if they would have traded away their young guys and they would have become great, they would have lost to this trade. Plus, since they're young, they have room to improve. So, there's that. <coughs> Sorry. Um, and the Cavs trade away Kyrie to the boss to Boston. And what did the Cavs get in return? They get Isaiah Thomas and Joe Crawford. So they get a good point guard, a great point guard on offense, but he can't defend. And then they got Joe Crawford, who is most likely, who is most likely, might be a starting player, or a really good bench player. He's either gonna be an average starting starting player, or a great bench player. So, Isaiah Thomas gets to go to uh, LeBron with LeBron. And that is to say if he stays there. But, let's break this down real quick. Alright. So, if Dwayne Wade uh, gets a buyout from 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 Cleveland and he goes with LeBron if LeBron stays that is that might be really good cuz then they're going to cuz then they're going to have Isaiah Thomas at point guard, Dwayne Wade at shooting guard, LeBron at uh <clears throat> at uh small forward and Joe Carter at power forward and that's really good so, now, here's what you've been waiting for. Who won this trade? Both. Depends on what you want. Because the trade wasn't even. It definitely was not even. The trade was not even. For the long term... Boston won. For the short term, Cleveland won. Because for the short term, Isaiah Thomas, he's probably going to drop 30 each game. And then you pair him up with LeBron. That's, that could, and you pair them up with Joe Carter and Kevin Love. That could be really good. But, for the long term, I just don't see that happening. As Isaiah Thomas, as we all know, is very short. 5'10 five, five, or 5'11, I think. Hold up. Yeah, for the like 5'10". He's 5'10". So, he's not going to be good on defense. <laughs> Plus, for the, so, for the long term, Kyrie is a top point guard this, this season. This, this season, he's the best. He's one of the best. And pair him up with Gordon. That should be good. <laughs> Depending on who goes to Boston. This trade was really good. Really good. On both parts. So, um. <clears throat> that concludes the video. Bye.